as you might be able to tell, I'm on the BC Ferry System. I uh, am on my way to Victoria from Tawasin. I'm going to spend a couple of weeks on the island visiting and hopefully finding some nice rec sites to stay in. Um, I want to talk about something right now because I'm actually stuck in my car on the ferry. Uh, I can't get out of the car because I can't get my wheelchair out because there's not enough space between me and the wall. The elevators are, it looks like there's only two elevators on this ferry, one at the front and one at the back. And the all the parking for the one at the back was full and I didn't realize they were only front and back. And the guy said, just go to the front, um, you'll probably be close. And it didn't occur to me that I wouldn't, like often when I drive onto the ferries, I look for the ferry door and I park beside it, regardless of whether I leave spaces in front of me, because there's not usually somebody, sorry about the car alarms. When the ferry moves, people's car alarms go off. So I get to deal with that all through my trip too. Anyways, I hope you can still hear me. Um, like I was saying, I try to park beside a fair, uh, an elevator door and then I move my car over a little bit so that I have room to get out. And it usually works pretty good, but I couldn't find any elevator doors to stop at. So it turns out that they're only at the front and the back of the ferry. I'm on the upper deck. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but um, anyways, close is not good enough when you can't fit between the wall and the cars. Um, the lady that was parking the cars, uh, she was really nice about it. I think she was a little taken off guard when I said I couldn't get out of the car. She was busy trying to do her job and that is getting all the cars close enough to each other because I think this must be a full sailing. Anyways, it's a little bit upsetting because, you know, if something happened on this ferry, um, there was a problem with anything, I can't get out of my car now. Um, the other side of that is, I'm not sure you're allowed to stay in your car on the ferry, but uh, you didn't used to be. I don't know if you're there seems to be other people in their cars, so that must not be a thing anymore. I kind of wanted to stay in my car because I'm not feeling really good today. Um, I just wanted to chill and relax. Instead, I got all upset because <laughs> I couldn't get by the elevator. So, anyways, that's it for now. This is what my view is like right now. I'm supposed to be upstairs looking at the ocean, looking to see if there's any whales I can look at or anything. But, uh... There's not, so. <laughs> so maybe since I have so much time on my hands, sitting down on the deck of the ferry, um, I'll update you on where I've been and what I've been doing. So I stayed, I, I spent four nights in a Soyuz at the provincial campground there. Beautiful, beautiful campground. Enjoyed, um, enjoyed it immensely. Uh, I left there and I drove north. I did a really stupid thing yesterday, I guess. I tried to pack a lot into yesterday, which might have explained why I wasn't feeling great. Um, I drove north from a Soyuz for three hours so that I could drop a bunch of stuff off in my storage unit. Excuse me. Then I drove west and then I drove all, I had to make up all those three hours that I drove north, driving back south again to get down to the coast and so I drove down to the coast. I stayed in the Walmart parking lot last night at Tawasin, which is three kilometers from the ferry terminal. Um, had a nice sleep there. Met up with my former uh, housemate, the woman that I've talked about before that lives in her van as well, that she boarded at my house last winter. Anyway, she, um, we met up and had a coffee last night. That was nice. We might meet up again in a couple of weeks or next week and go camping maybe on the island somewhere not sure where but we'll see how this all works out so that's kind of where I'm at right now those are the what I've been up to and those are my future plans right now I'm gonna be with family uh, in Victoria hanging out downtown you know doing whatever there is to do in Victoria and then I'm gonna head to Nanaimo and spend some time with a friend there and then hopefully some wreck sites on the north part of the island. So there you go. Well, I made it to Victoria. Here's the inner harbor. 
the Empress Hotel and some sailboats. It's just really beautiful, so I thought I would share it. And here's some other cool scenery taking, taken from the window of my cousin's place, uh, looking out over the other end of the Inner Harbor. I don't know if it's called the Inner Harbor or not, but that's what I've always known it as. That's a Harbor Air flight taking off. I just thought it was kind of neat. We get to watch these all day long when I was visiting there. Not a quiet place, i got to tell you that. A couple of other clips of some interesting stuff. All the cruise ships park across the harbor over there and they had just come back to Victoria and I think there was three or four of them coming and going while I was uh, there for supper at my cousin's place. Victoria, I've been here for four nights, I think it is, and uh, I'm really tired. I think this whole uh, selling my house after 30 years and moving into a van is catching up to me, and I need to just take a breather and catch my breath. I haven't really had a chance because I've been visiting with family while I was in Victoria. I haven't really had a chance to take care of my van the way I would like to. It's The fridge has not been on full time so I don't know if the stuff that's in there has been ruined um, because my car was parked all the time and I was actually parked in my family's uh, visitor parking at their apartment complex so I wasn't able to put solar panels out or just start my car and run it. Um, and of course because it was part of the complex I couldn't plug into anything Either. I did take my battery in a couple of times and had it charged inside, but yeah, there's van life. I sort of realized this before when I was traveling. Van life is different depending on where you are. Like if you're out in the country, it's one thing, and you can just sort of set up and have your stove outside and cook. But if you're in the city, it's different. You can't do all that stuff. And so it's, um, yeah, it's just different. There's all these things, obviously, that I've got, got to learn about van life. I will say one thing, and that is that uh, I met my cousin's son, who's also a van lifer. I sort of knew that, but it was really nice to get together with him and talk about how he does things and how he manages things and I would like to get together with him again if I go back to Victoria and get him to show me some of his spots where he parks maybe and I don't know it's been a very nice visit with my family and I've really enjoyed it and I'm moving on to visit a friend today and then I'm going to be staying overnight with other friends for a couple of nights in and I hope so
jam right now. My shelves tipped over. They knocked my wheelchair. My wheelchair seems to be stuck. Which means that I'm stuck sitting on the lift that gets me in and out because I can't. I can't get my wheelchair out. It's halfway in and halfway out. Yes, I'm really frustrated. Okay, so generally when I get into sh crap like this, I just want somebody to come by and help me and I'm usually totally okay with that. But it looks like where I'm parked, there's cars going by, but I mean, obviously they don't know I'm having trouble. So I have to figure this out myself. And I guess that's what van life is about. Time to get used to it. I called the tow truck. I don't know who else to call, so I called the tow truck. So while I'm sitting here, I guess I'll say that <laughs> I'm not even two weeks in. I'm a week and a half into van life, and I've already had thoughts of what's the matter with me. Um, do I quit? I'm not going to quit over this, but I can tell you I don't know what I would have done if I'd been out in some campground all by myself and this had happened um, and what do I do about it I've looked at some of those things that some people have those um, satellite things that people can keep track of you in case you're in trouble anyways I'm just waiting for the tow truck so there you go Well, as you can tell, I'm not sitting in the front of my van with my wheelchair stuck between the door. I got it fixed and honestly, I was super frustrated and blaming it all on van life. Um, I called a tow truck. <laughs> I know that's not a tow truck thing. And the guy even said that he said, you know, this isn't, this is a towing company, right? And I said, I didn't know who else to call. I don't know anybody in this town. So he came and he just wiggled my chair around a bit. What had happened is this bank of shelves had fallen over and it fell on my chair so that it was stuck enough that I couldn't unwedge it enough to get it free from the free from the shelves so anyways um i'm sorry i know this is really wobbly but i'm super tired today which is probably why i was overly emotional about getting my chair stuck in the door um what I wanted to say was, is yes, I was ready to give up van life, but now that things are fine and I'm in my van, um, I'm ready to, uh, well, I realize that that could have happened any time, any place, my chair getting stuck in the door. And it has got stuck in the door. I even have it in another video where it kind of temporarily got stuck. But I've always been able to unwedge it. But when I have stuff in the back here, of course, this is van life related. So it was van life that caused the problem. Anyways, I'm rambling um, when I get my head together and have something more clear and more positive to say. It is positive. I'm really happy that I'm not stuck anymore. Um, I will say some more later. I have to get to where I'm going tonight, so... I had to stop. This was a washroom break and I'm back on the road again. Well, I made it to my friend's place and uh, that's all I've got for you for this week. So I just thought I'd leave you with a few cute clips of her pets.
Enjoy and I'll see you next week.